Now, what I want to ask you is this. What I want to ask you is whenever you tell yourself you should do something every day, whether you write it down, you put it on your to-do list, whether you put it for next week and your day planner, I don't care what, right? When it says should, and then there's another should, another I'd like to, another maybe we could, and then this, and then this, and you get this pile of things that you want to see happen. How much of that is, oh yeah, this is my goals, it's fine, no big deal. Or how much of that is, I can't do it all because it's a law to you now, right? So that's where I am in my own wrestling with Americanism, coming to terms as a Christian with my having been born in Babylonian America, right? And, and what, what we worship here, uh, and there's a number of things we worship here. Evidently, the earth is making a strong comeback these days. But uh, one of the other things we worship here is the clock. Uh, we, we worship engineering. We worship science. Uh, we, we worship the ability to make good use of time and knowledge, right? Right. And so it is only understandable and normal for the average educated American to consider goal setting and goal completion a valid justifying identity mark on your life. If you say you're going to do it, you get it done. You're a good person. If you don't get it done, you're a bad person, right? Conscience involved now in a law that has been instituted as an assumption within the wider culture. It's immoral of the wider culture. Good people get stuff done. Bad people don't. And then you are setting goals to be a good person and you find out, oh, it doesn't matter what measure you use, Ten Commandments or otherwise, it cuts like a knife, don't it? Yeah, it cuts right, right into your heart. Now, don't think you're going to escape this. Go read Broken for pity's sakes. This is never going away. You will make new versions of this out of anything you find in order to attack yourself. That's why the Spirit of God, according to the Word of God, is so darn important to have in your life. Because He fights for you, against you on this matter, and then makes you fight against you on this matter too, so you can actually look at something like personal goals versus moral laws and realize that your real problem is you want to be God and you can't stand it when what you think should happen doesn't happen. That's the real problem. And that personal goals, can I do it? Personal goals are, in fact, vanity, which is, in fact, ambition as dust. You want to be more than dust. And the funny thing is, is that Oh, can I draw? No, I can't. That is the worst cross possible. <laughs> I'm not kidding. If you can't see it, I'm not kidding. But when vanity is put on the cross, our Lord hanging there on our behalf, now personal goals just become gifts of possibility Hold on. Hold on. I got to write it out. Gifts of possibility with no bearing on reality. Other than that, God might give them to you. And so pick one and see if he does. And if he doesn't, it's not a moral failing on your part. God wanted to give you something different today. How much more of life would you experience if that's how you handled today. You can have your goal list. And then you have the belief that God's going to give you today what God thinks you need today. And he wants your goal list, but he doesn't want you to worship it. 